How is it going ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm playing Build a Boat and Float for Treasure and I am going to be explaining how turning actually works. So it's actually really easy. So there's several different ways that you can build a boat that turns. Um, so here is one example as you can see his back wheels are actually his main drive wheels so they don't turn at all but his front wheels actually do turn. Um, so he's gonna drive it and um, he's gonna show us. So if you wanna enjoy, if not, if you wanna avoid the rocks a little bit better, as you can see, that build that he has works pretty good, um, but it only turns in the front. So it's not all wheel drive. As you can see, we got a Spider-Man here. He's coming in for the video. Um, so that's one way. And another way that you can actually build if you're trying to make one that lasts a little bit further. Because that one actually will handle really well and it will make it pretty far all the way up until you hit like basically... It's like this big spinning spike of death thing. But this boat that Chris is trying to make over here, as you could see, she has a little bit of extra protection added on it. But still sticking to my old terms, we still don't want to, you know, basically add too much crap onto the boat until we test it out. So I'm going to go ahead and actually add a seat for this guy because he wants to join... And let's go ahead and launch. Alright, so as you can see, Chris is actually driving the boat. And it is able to turn just in the front. And it's similar to that uh, first design that I showed you. But the difference is, is this design actually has a little bit more protection from the rocks. So if whenever we go and hit rocks, which we're going to try and avoid the rocks. But as you can see, we just smashed a rock there we don't take any damage to our wheels. Now, if we compare this boat to his boat, as you can see, he is taking damage as well. And as soon as he takes too much damage, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this on video because Chris is driving <laughs> crazy. So is he, but um, his wheels will fall off before ours wheels will, that's basically the point. So all you have to do to drive is basically just put the axes on the wheels and actually connect them to your boat you don't actually even need to use the springs if you don't want to use the springs so that's one thing that you can think about and as you can see because chris didn't have any protection for her back 